Before we get into the video, make sure y'all like, subscribe if you're new. I mean, come on, what are you doing? If you're not sub to me by now, my content is fire for Transformers news videos, stop motions, tour reviews, tour photography, music occasionally. My Instagram and TikTok are all linked down below. And uh, yeah, let's get straight to it. Okay, so got quite a bit to talk about in this video. We have our first look at Battle Trap. The, the Terracon Battle Trap and Rise of the Beast. And we also have a new Deluxe Class Air Razor. Different from the one that was just revealed... Um, what was it, last week? Not revealed, it was a leaked, obviously. Uh, so that one from last week must have been the basic Class Deluxes that were um, had leaked listings last year. And this one seems to be the Studio Series because it has more articulation. The Ankle Pivot uh, looks like Waist Swivel, better... Um, legs and uh, probably has a head too and it looks like it's a remold or a chairs engineering from kingdom air razor very cool but first up i want to talk about the big boy here battle trap he's gonna be a voyager class very cool um he has a very nice profile it's very much a mix of bayverse and nightverse aesthetics and designs here uh, a little bit more Bayverse with the Terracons, it seems like, um, from what we've heard about descriptions of Nightbird and Scourge, and now our first look at Sc um, Battle Trap here. So, he looks great. Would have liked to have maybe a, a finger joint there. You know how, how I am with these types of hands, but no, no biggie. And the head sculpt looks pretty ferocious. I mean, just look at that head crest and his mouth looking like some TLK Megatron or something. Very cool. And a lot of nice details and gunmetal grays and blacks and silvers sculpted in and painted on the plastic. I'm really digging this. And here he is next to a deluxe class, the recent uh, Last Night Hot Rod that just dropped. And he's a he's a decent sized Voyager. I don't know. Uh, Studio Series Deluxes in terms of the live action stuff are a bit shorter than the uh, uh, Legacy Generation stuff, like the mainline Generation stuff. So um, he might be like a bit of a shorter type Voyager. I'm guessing. I don't know. Uh, he might be like a tad bit shorter than, or the same height as Optimus Prime. I don't know, I haven't collected Studio Series Baver stuff in a long time, but uh, decent sized Voyager. And his weapon is interesting because it's very much like Bulkhead's, uh, especially Prime Bulkhead and the Legacy Voyager Bulkhead that just came out earlier this year. And that's interesting. I don't know if that, he, that was inspired by Bulkhead or... They just did it because it looked cool, and it seems like he could pose. His lower legs have deeper than 90 degree knee bends, and he has ankle pivot, which is great. And it looks like his feet might be able to move up and down too, which is dope. And does he have wrist swivel? It looks like there's a cut in there for a mushroom peg, but I'm not too sure. The head looks like it does some decent, <clears throat> excuse me, some decent upward movement. Waist swivel, maybe? Obviously, thigh cut and bicep swivel. Looks like single-jointed elbows, which, eh, it's all right. It might bend a little deeper than 90, though. I don't know. But that's very cool that he comes with that mace-type weapon like Bulkhead does. Does he have waist swivel? I don't know. It kind of looks like he doesn't. That's That would kind of suck if he didn't, uh, but... I, I get it. These live-action designs are a bit more complex than what you see in the regular Generations line, so I understand that sometimes the standard articulation can't be done on these live-action figures, but, you know, take what we can get. The back looks all right, you know, it just seems like the whole cab of the tow truck is just hanging on his back, but it doesn't look bad at all. And then the vehicle mode... It looks great, a bit more orange and a bit brighter than what I remember from the set photos, but other than that, looks like it's well detailed, you know, you got the grill painted, the translucent light bar up there, you got the logo for the towing truck company that he's from, and the tow uh, itself, the hook, it looks a bit too meh to me it just looks like it's sort of there 
doesn't really have any features, and then his mace just plugs in the back there like that. So, eh, there's a couple things from just judging off these images that I don't really think works for me personally. But clean robot mode it seems like a pretty clean vehicle mode, too. And, yeah, I'm, I'm digging out this is coming out. I don't know, I gotta see footage, you know? I gotta see a trailer, see how he interacts for me to really want this thing and and um really want to care about this live action version of battle trap so i don't know let me just check back in this picture does he have wrist swivel nope he does not have wrist swivel that thing is molded solid as you can see i'm pretty sure so looks like he might not have waist or wrist which is a bit of a bummer but eh, we'll see how he poses with a review or something Probably Prime vs. Prime will be digging these figures out in the crates here soon since they're getting leaked. So, And then lastly, I want to talk about Air Razor, the girl herself, the maxi girl. I'm going to say right off the bat, it looks I like this better than the, the basic deluxe class Air Razor that leaked a week ago. Uh, she has her missile launchers mounted there, which are cool. A bit smaller than what I would like, especially... Uh, when you compare it to her uh, kingdom figure. And then you have the Maxima logo in silver there, which is cool. It seems like, uh, here it is compared with Kingdom Air Razor. She's a bit taller, which is cool and interesting. I don't know what the decision was for that. Uh, but it seems like it's either borrowed engineering or she's straight up reusing parts from Kingdom Air Razor. Like, the lower legs, or the upper legs look very similar. But, uh, actually, no. Upon further inspection, they're actually a completely different sculpt. And then the chest area looks extremely similar, too. And the arms, and then the wing, how the wings lay out. But it looks like an all-new mold. I'm pretty sure it is. The head sculpt is a, is a lot more exaggerated and more movie-esque, like what I was expecting than what we saw from the figure a week ago. Uh, so, I don't know, I like it. Uh, it doesn't seem like she has a purple face, and if it does, it looks like it's slightly dark purple with a lot of silver in there, maybe, I don't know. But it looks good, it really does. It looks like it might have better ankle pivot than just the ball-jointed one on the Kingdom figure. Because, oh no, it's a ball joint, it looks like, there too. Eh, whatever, but not too bad. So, if you really want to uh, swap parts between the basic class deluxes and the Studio Series stuff, you could probably buy the basic one and give those swords that that one is going to come with to this one and mount to the, the uh, missile launchers, keep those on there too. Depending on if she actually does use the swords in the movie, you know how these toy lines do when they pack in stuff that wasn't used in the movie and it's just for toys or it came from concept art. So who knows with that until we see footage and actually see the movie itself. But very similar engineering to Kingdom Air Razor, which is cool. <clears throat> and then the bird mode, very mechanical, very uh, Beast Machines sort of uh, transmetals look for these Maximals that we're going to be seeing in the movie, which is cool. Seems like some decent posability. I definitely like this bird mode better than the Kingdom one, considering it's a Cybertronian looking bird and not a realistic bird, so I don't mind, you know, the hollowness and the... Um, and the robot parts that you can see because, you know, it's a Cybertronian bird. It's not an actual uh, realistic Earth, bu Earth bird that they're trying to recreate in the toy. And it has that nice teal, sort of dark green, earthy green there, which is really cool. I'm digging that. Looks like a good deluxe. I might get this. I might get Battle Trap. I gotta see more of Rise of the Beast to get really hyped to getting these things, like I said earlier. But, uh, yeah... Let me know how you guys feel about these designs. How are you feeling our first official look at Battle Trap? I keep saying official. It's leaked. It's leaked. It's leaked. But, um, yeah, I'm digging it so far. Let me know what you guys feel down below. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say in this video. Congratulations. You have made it to the end of this video.